Christmas. <laughs> Good morning. I am up slightly earlier today. I'm off to get my laptop charger from the post office. Now, I probably could have gone to get it yesterday, but I kind of fancied the walk this morning. Uh, me and Maddie have been trying to get out. It's good to get outside, especially when you're sort of self-employed, stuck inside all day. And it's actually surprisingly warm. I don't think I even need this hat. That's better. Yeah, so I'm heading to the post office, and I'm also gonna try and stop by the train station to get Maddie a rail card, because we're gonna be taking the train quite a bit in the next month or so, I think. So, I was just walking along, and then these headphones slipped off. And a minute later, I realized when I went to put them in my ears that, you see that? <sighs> okay, time for a story time with Alex. Because it all went wrong again when I went out. So I was going to the Royal Mail office to pick up my charger that we mentioned yesterday. And along the way, I was filming um, just some, you know, sort of B-roll shots of the town and me walking there. When I, I'm not sure if I got it on camera, but when I was about to cross the road at one point, these headphones that I take, these Bluetooth ones, slipped off my head and I sort of instinctively reached out and grabbed them and then put them back on my head. And it wasn't until a few minutes later when I went to actually listen to some, uh, to some music on them that I realized, well, first of all, my battery on this camera ran out when I was out. It said I had two bars when I left and it suddenly ran out. I was about to show you this, that's when it stopped. That's when it ran out of battery. So I have, you can see it. So that's the earbud and it has that little squishy thing to put in your ear and that's what fell off. And I went back to the area where I remember grabbing the headphones when they fell off and I couldn't see it anywhere. I was like looking, you know, I was looking all in the street, along the side, along the floor for about 10 minutes. I probably looked like a complete weirdo to when, if anyone was in their house looking out, but I couldn't find it. Now, fortunately, they did, I think in the package, which is at my parents' house, I think, I don't know why I left it there, it was stupid of me. It has the spare earbuds in there, so hopefully I will be able to put some more on. But it's just a bit of a pain, because now, I mean, it kind of works. It'll probably sound the same, but yeah. So that was disaster number one. Disaster number two is when I finally, well, no. <laughs> disaster 1.5, 1.5. I was following Google Maps to the Royal Mail Office and if you don't know about the Royal Mail Office it's usually like a, a sort of distribution hub out of the way in a secluded place. Google Maps took me all the way around one side to the completely wrong side of it that I couldn't get access to so I had to walk all the way back. Then I went in, I had my ID, I had the little note they left, the card to say you know bring this we'll scan it you'll get your package. They said they couldn't give it to me because it didn't have my name well, my ID doesn't have my address in Hove, it has my old address. The package didn't have my name on it, it just had my Hove address. So there was nothing to link me to that package because Tom, if you're watching, you didn't put my name on the package, <laughs> so I couldn't pick it up. Went to Hove Station, intending to get Maddie's rail card. They said, you can, but you've got to fill out a form and it needs her signature. So I took that, had to walk all the way back, grabbed my bike, grabbed, like a utility bill that had sort of my proof of address and name on it. Got all the stuff I needed in the backpack, cycled back to Royal Mail, and then they said they had entered the postcode wrong on their system. So it was almost like they weren't, even though it was written correctly on the front, they weren't convinced that it was me and that they should give me the package. I finally got it in the end. It was a real mess, and I blame you, Tom. And if anybody else blames Tom and wants to exact revenge, because now it's like one o'clock and I still haven't started editing yet, I will leave his full name, phone number, email address, home address, and bank account details in the description. So feel free to, you know, do what you want to do with that. Fortunately, the rail card was really easy to get. Just handed it over, paid him the money and got that. So that should be all good for our uh, train journey tomorrow up to London. And then finally, if any of you remember, it must have been a few days ago, the start of Vlogmas, when I mentioned that Maddie had gone out to 
pick up a package that she thought was from America for her because it had been hit with like a an 18 pound, like a big customs fee. We thought it was a package she'd ordered from America. Turns out when she got, I never, I didn't mention this in the video, I never went back to it, but turns out she went all the way there and the woman wouldn't give her the package because it was actually addressed to me and not her. And it turns out this was the hard drive I've been banging on about for like two weeks. They couldn't deliver it because it had a customs charge because even though I ordered it from a UK website and what I thought was a UK company, it was dispatched from the distribution center in the Netherlands. <laughs> so even then I didn't think EU packages, I thought you didn't get customs for you. I, I don't know. Eventually after scouring the internet and my emails, I managed to find a phone number, rang them, they said, go and pay for the fee, then show us, send us your order number and the proof of payment and the card and stuff in a receipt, in an email, and then we will refund you the money. I'm glad I can get the hard drive and get the money back, but I think that's a really annoying, bad system that they're making me put all this effort in just to pick something up when it's a fault of theirs. It's, it's annoying. I think I'll have to go later after I've edited, but it will be good if I can just finally get my hands on the hard drive and free up space and back up some of Maddie's stuff because we have been working with like this much space on all our memory cards and hard drives on the computers waiting for this to come. I suppose if I'd been thinking ahead, I could have done these things and like before I'd gone out, I would have thought, maybe take a utility bill with me. Maybe I should have rung the company before I went out so I wouldn't have to make two trips to go and pick up separate packages. But, moral of the story, that's why you wake up early, because we got up, Manny got up before me, but I was up about half seven today. And I've done all these chores, run all these errands, and I've been out for hours and it's still only lunchtime and I've got plenty of time left to edit uh, the Vlogmas. So, you know, you gotta find the positives. Because if I'd woken up at 10, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, it'd be dark by now, so. <laughs> and last but not least, I apologize. I don't know if in the past few videos I've had kind of spots on my face, it might be noticed, but you can't see it in this little tiny screen here. But it's probably, you can pick it up if you put it in full screen, I bet. It's basically just shaving rash. Just thought I'd mention that. That's why I don't shave very much because my skin gets kind of sensitive and then kind of breaks out. So never fear. It's a bit of a hectic morning, but not the end of the world. You know, all things happen for a reason. I feel like I've learned some valuable life lessons from this experience. Take two. I'm lucky. Back we go. I'm back. Look what I got. At last. It's always good when you forget a day, then you get two. Right. Oh my God, look what I just did. Look what I just did, Alex. Come give it here. So you hear that noise? I've been trying to film a main channel video here and I turned the living room upside down, moved everything around like crazy, including moving this mirror here from over there and it's slightly covering the door and I um, went outside because they whacked the radio on really loudly and I was like, no, I've had enough. So um, I went to open the door to ask them to turn the radio down and then I ended up smashing the mirror on the floor in the process. So that's really brilliant. Well done me. Mercury in retrograde, huh? <laughs> Crikey, look.
Oh god. Maybe we can salvage this big piece and no. just stick it in the wall. No. Yeah. Hi. We're always in this blooming dressing gown in these videos. I know. I'm making some pasta to cure my post mirror sadness. Well, because I didn't actually um, cook Alex lunch today, so if I don't cook him lunch, he doesn't have lunch. Uh, hang on. What time is it? I don't know. Three o'clock. But have you eaten lunch? The reason I didn't make lunch is because you were filming a video. To be and fair, it you are noisy. right. You are right. You win! I win again. I told him this is like a meal that you can whack together if you've got nothing. So we've got a tub of hummus, and then we have an avocado that I had half of at lunch, so you can just shove that and that in with the pasta, with some traditional yeast, some lemon, salt and pepper, and then some olives, and bada bing, bada boom! Tomatoes would be good in it too. We had tomatoes, didn't we? No, we used them last night, in the rice. I hate you so much. This will taste really good. It'll be really creamy. Yeah, hummus never... pasta is like an underrated but thing that I would have done in, when I was a student had I known about it. Yeah. But like, if you have no money, and you're a student, Hummus pasta. I can't believe I never tried it. It's easy and it's so nice, especially if you put avocado, that would be even better. Also, avocado pasta, that's not such a student meal because avocado is <laughs> expensive, but... <laughs> God, breaking everything today. Um, uh, but yeah, if you use avocado and basil, yeah, it's like avocado pesto. We had it once. No, I've had avocado... Yeah, times yeah I know, but I remember specifically, I made it myself and it was really good and we also tried it. There's a when recipe had, in my ebook. Um, yeah. I've made it a few more, many and times. We had, but one time we made it with courgette spaghetti, and that was like super healthy. Years yeah, ago. Yeah, but it wasn't very filling. No, you need like three I bowls. I normal pasta. Yeah, wheat is much more filling than courgettes. Who would have thought? If you look at where I was just filming, so I when I when we're in this room, sorry, it's a mess with like it's chaos, but never mind. I am actually going to use this space for filming. Yeah, if I film here. It's great light because it's in front of the window, but then the background sucks because it's just kind of like that. Whereas filming here, the light was actually not bad and I've got the plant. So if we put the mirror there, that would have caused problems. Yeah. So I think we'll just get a picture also, for here. We were going to get another mirror. Yeah, for my bedroom. Yeah. Sorry, our bedroom. Um, a full length mirror to put there. Yeah. And, I'm, and we, we salvaged that piece of... Yes. Mirror, MDF. This is the back of the mirror that's like an MDF. And um, I actually need a background for photography. And what you can do is you can buy wallpaper online and then just wallpaper a piece of wood and then use it as a background. So I'm gonna wallpaper this with some kind of like white um, marble of some sort. And then I can have that as a background. And then I also, when I paint the table, I'll have like a white wood background. So but pretty nifty. Time, that other mirror was kind of chunky. It was, it wasn't my favorite. No. You know like how phone you want like the smallest bees all you can possibly yes. get. That was kind of huge. We did like it when we got it. Yeah. It was like three years ago. Yeah. Oh dear. I feel like it's quite rare that we get a day without a technical problem. We saved the banana bread to Wednesday, just like we promised. Now it's time to eat it all. I think that'll do it for today. I'm sat here with my Mexican rice again. How does it compare to last night's? Not well, as good. It's not as good because there's some avocado on top. But the rice tastes the same. Mm. It tastes nice. No. That's not bad. That was so easy to make. That was just rice. Get all your Mexican spices, some beans and some, uh, the, some tomatoes, chuck them in a pan, and then wait a bit. <laughs> Delicious. Tomorrow we are going to London again. So, I guess we'll see you then. Mm.